it's Wednesday evening on the farm. It's about 7.45. Eric and I are seeing some supper. And his uncle called that he's got a heifer trying to have a calf. But she's having some trouble. So we're rounding up, getting everything to go see if we can help her out. He said that she's got one hoof out and the, the mouth is out. So... Hopefully we can catch it in time. And more than likely she's got a leg, calf's got a leg turned down. So we'll push that, if that's what it is. Just try to go in and uh, push the calf back, reset the legs. More than likely that shoulder of a calf is holding in the birth canal and the heifer just can't push her out. But the main thing in a situation like that is getting there soon enough before the, uh, the calf basically drowns. So hopefully she hasn't been in labor too long and we can help old Uncle Mac out. Yeah, so we don't know the status of the calf just yet. So this video could have a good ending or a not so good ending. For those of you basically that don't know, my Uncle Mac is the one, the farms that Ben and I both have he built everything so when Matt calls we go running because he kind of was the patriarch of everything. This video is probably a little bit bumpy. We're trying to hurry up, get all our supplies together. Um, so Eric's driving kind of fast right now. We've got the OB chain, we got our calf puller, gloves, so headlamps. You know what I just thought of? What's that? Five minutes ago, we just finished a big old plate of hot roast. It's good, good too. Nothing like eating hot roast and then going to deliver a baby calf. Mm. It's gonna be rough. It'll be all right. I might go back for a second to help him after. Ooh, we get done with baby over here. So here's a heifer. She's laid down. We've got two feet out. We're gonna go over here and see if we can help her out a little bit. She's pushing some big hooves. And there's the tongue. That tongue's moving, isn't it? So that's the, still alive. That's the mouth. Oh, girl. Dead gum. You all right, buddy? You all right? Come on, come on, ease up in there. Come on, girl. Come on, girl. Ease up in there. Hey, come on, get up in there. Hey, don't run, miss. Come on, girl. Hey. Come on, girl. Don't do all that. We're going to get her in this catch lot. We got a head gate. She's locked in. If you can hold that chain like that. There we go. A little bit more. Got one. I got the bottom. There we go. Is that both legs? It ain't around that top. Yeah. You don't pull it. Pull it tight, man. Pull it tight, man. Start pulling it, pull down. It's a big hook here. Go ahead and get that above it. Jump right there. There you go, pull down, straight down. There you go. He's in perfect position, ain't he? If he just yeah, God, he's come just on, we may have to put the pull on him. See if we can get her. Tear yourself. Don't control. watch what your heels not being. But this whole, whole pressure. Okay, I'm gonna come here. You doing it, man? You gotta work. 
That's it right there. Just put a little pressure. Come on, if we can get that head out. Keep a little pressure, Ben. Keep it tight up a little bit. There it is. Man, what a K. The blaze face, too. Come on, girl. Don't go down on us. Uh, don't let that pole hit you. Man. Don't go down. Oh, he's nearly there. Okay, don't hit lock. Don't hit lock. He's alive, man. Yep. Oh man. Don't give up, boys. Come on, girl, help us now. Somebody ain't pulling. Now you are. <laughs> now you are. Let's go, boy. A little bit more. Come on, big man. Put the chain on like this right here. Somebody hold pressure. Just hold pressure with the chain. And we're gonna push like this. And she's gonna, she gonna spit it out right here. Come on. There we go. Oh, thank goodness. Right. Big okay. That's wow. All right. Look. Oh. Let's drag this thing out of here. You on, you on, aren't you, Ben? I hope so. Are you, are you on? We're blinking. <laughs> what kind of grade we get, Slim? Oh, man. That's some of right, the best work I've ever seen out of you on, two, boys. All right, let's, let's get this cow. Yeah. And pull him. Man, he's big Listen, enough for two. 117 pounds. Listen, listen. All right, Eric's turning her out. Push, girl. Help me out. All right, she can get out now. She's just... Go, girl. Come on, girl. Go, girl. Come on, girl. You got business to do. Come on. There she goes. We got Mama Cow. She's a heifer, so she's never had a calf before. She doesn't know what's going on. Let's see if she'll start licking it. Did y'all ever see if it was a bull? That's what you want to see right there. Hey, Slim. Yeah. What address I need to send that bill to? Oh, just uh. Hey, uh, what about this? You want to name that an Eric, a Ben, a Bo? Yeah. You can name him Barrick. Hi, yeah. brothers. Yeah. yeah. There you go. <laughs> oh, look at that. That calf How about that? has been out for yeah, maybe man. 10 minutes and already wanting to stand up. Yeah. Mama's taking good care of it. Look just like his daddy. About the same size too. Yep. What do you think that one weighs? Close to a hundred? It's, it's close to a hundred. It's not a hundred. She weren't gonna have that one, Mac. No. That makes the day worth it. What do you think? I'm sure I'm surprised to see that, to be honest, because he said a couple of hours possibly in labor, but you know when we first got there, that little joker was breathing and I said, Well, we still got a chance. That's a big calf. We hung around for probably 30 minutes after the calf was born. The calf was wanting to get up. Mama was licking it, doing. The calf was doing real well, wouldn't you say, considering everything just went through. Yeah. So we're gonna go back tomorrow and check on it, but that was a win right there. We haven't decided yet between Erica or Benita. Y'all let us know. Should we name that calf Erica or name it Benita? We'll, we'll, we'll ponder on it. But there's no way that that heifer was going to have that calf naturally. It's just one of those things you run into every now and then. Um, maybe that heifer was late having the calf. Maybe the bull that bred her was a little big. There, 
there's a lot of possibilities of what happened, what could have happened, but anyway. Honestly, thought the calf would be dead when we got there, but she was actually, when we went in, she was laying down. Like I said, I don't know what all footage you got, but when I went to grab her hoof, I put my finger in the calf's mouth and the calf tried to nurse on my finger. I said, well, we got a chance. And uh, what happened there is it was a big calf, so it was a pretty good chore just to get her head out. And then obviously once we did that, you'll see hopefully that she tried to hip lock on us. And that's one thing that you'll see if you don't help a calf like that, that heifer, if she is able to get the head and the hooves out, a lot of times she'll get so exhausted by the time it gets to the hips and the hips lock, she's trying to push and she'll sit down, lay down, she'll lay down, she'll lay on that calf and can kill that calf. So luckily it was a blessing. Thank goodness we, we had the OB chain, the calf puller. We'd never even used that calf puller before. Didn't even know how to use it. I don't even know that we used it right, no. but the calf's alive. Definitely didn't use it right, but it was in the heat of the moment, and uh, you just got to keep pressure on them and keep pushing down, 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 and then when she starts contracting, you know she'll help you. And she contracted two hard times. Yeah, she had two. The mind you, want more pot roast? Uh oh. oh. <laughs> Talk about something. Else. All right, we're gonna go home, get cleaned up. About 9.30. You got a little meat on your shoulder. Yeah, I got a little, a few little wet spots. Ooh. I'm gonna take probably about five showers tonight. By supper time, man. Let's go eat. See y'all next time. And that, my friends, is why we buy low birth weight bulls.